Hello everybody, welcome to my live stream and my free Facebook training series. We are on day two today and um, yesterday was all about understanding attraction marketing. Today it's all about mindset, developing a success mindset, getting over limiting beliefs and also very important, developing the right money mindset because that's so important that you have a a really good money mindset and a good relationship with money in order to attract money to you and in order to build the flourishing business that you want. So, and um, everybody who's jumping on live, please let me know who you are so I can give you a shout out. And if you're watching the replay, also drop replay and let me know where you're coming from. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Judith K. Ritz with JudithKRitz.com and I help busy moms create a business and a life they love and especially those of you who have a network marketing business or a service-based business. So, and before we dive into the topic today, um, just a few information. If you share this video, hey, Van Martin, if you share this video, you will be entered to win a free coaching session with me and I will announce the winners on the weekend. So we'll have like one, one winner for each day. So. Um, that means three of you can win a free coaching session with me when you go ahead and share this video in a group on your page Wherever you want to share it where you think other people may also benefit from it and um, Yeah, so that was the first important info and now we're diving into the training so The first thing that is very important for the right mindset is that you know your why and have your vision and this is something really strong because this is something that keep first of all keeps you going um but also that is you know that is the whole reason why you're doing this and um and your why is not just something that is like oh yeah well i'm doing this to leave my 9 to 5 job or um or i'm doing this because I want to lose some weight. Depending on what is your, you know, what is the reason why you're doing something. If you're, um, if you're in, in a health and wellness company or in a weight loss company and you want to lose weight yourself, for example, um, or if you are, you know, if you're maybe a coach as well or you have a service-based business, um, then it's not just, you know, I want to make some money. Because if you're just after the money, then, I bet you it wouldn't work. Um, so you really need to have a much deeper why and a much deeper reason why you're doing this. And so the thing is, if you say like, okay, I want to lose weight because um, I want to have my figure back from before I had my kids. So then you need to ask why. So basically there's a, it's a, it's a practice and you need to, hey Jennifer, hey Patricia. Um, so, uh, ladies, welcome to my video. If you share this video, same thing like yesterday, you will be entered to win a free coaching session with me. So, the practice is, one, when you want to dig deep on your why, then you need to ask yourself three times why. So, if you say, I want to lose weight because I want to have the body back that I had before I had my kids, why is that? Because I want to fit in some of the clothes that I was wearing back then. And why is that so important for you? Because I want to feel sexy again. I want to be attractive for my husband again. So, and then you're going deep. And that is like the core um, reason. You know, that is, that, is, that is your biggest why. You don't want to, you just don't want to lose weight because you want to fit in the jeans that you were wearing five years ago. You want to lose weight because you want to feel sexy and you want to be sexy for your husband. Okay, so, and that's with any with any reason that you have, with any why that you have, dig deeper that you really um, get down to the core of your why. Um, and then you have your vision as well. So that is like your long-term goal, okay? So how do you vision your life? And, and how does your life look like in five years? Um, and there's also a nice exercise that you can do. And this is write down your perfect day. Um, that is actually, that's a really, really nice exercise. Um, and you can get really creative with that. You can, and this is what I recommend, be really detailed. Okay. So write, um, write down 
when you want to get up, um, what are you doing on this day, uh, what do you see, where are you, what do you hear, what do you feel, how do you feel, um, what do you taste, what do you smell, so that you're really um, also getting like getting out the emotions that you feel on your perfect day because the thing is with visualization um, is not only seeing how your life should be or how you how you desire your life to be but also that you feel how how does it feel living your dream life because the feelings the emotions this is the important part and um, I'm not sure if if you've heard about manifesting things um, but this is actually something really big and this is something that I was like intentionally doing like my whole life if I wanted something that I was really manifesting it because I was putting like inspired action and all my thoughts and my focus was on on the thing that I wanted and um, and so everything kind of fall into place um, and I was getting what I was manifesting um, and for manifesting is also very important that you have the emotions that you see it and that you feel it and um, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper in this um, like in the third section of this training when we come to money mindset okay so I just wanted to kind of touch it a little bit so when you write down your perfect day really write down what you see what you feel um, uh, yeah, ladies, let me know. Have you ever done this before? Have you ever like written down your perfect day or thinking about um, how it feels, how it smells, you know, how it looks? Um, so let me know if you have ever done this before. Um, hey, Sam, good to see you here. Um, so the second important part for developing a success mindset is to decide that you're going to make it. Decide being successful, okay? So really own it. Take the responsibility of it. Because once you made the decision, then you're gonna show up. And you're gonna show up anyway, no matter how you feel. Of course, if you're really sick and you need to lay in, be lie in bed, that's a different story. But you know, it's um, when you decide to make it work, then you kind of detach from your emotions. Because we all have lazy days. And we all have days that we feel like, Oh, I don't want to do anything today but once you decided to be successful and to run your business like a business and not like a hobby anymore then it's a totally different story and you're gonna show up you're gonna be consistent and you're gonna be accountable and you're gonna do it anyway and this is something um, actually I wrote this down on a note and I stick it right next to my computer um, do it anyway okay and Try this. If if this is something that is like kind of hard for you, write this down. Do it anyway, or just do it and stick it at your workplace. Um, and when you are feeling like that, you're getting into this emotion, like oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do Facebook Live right now because it scares, uh, it scares me. Then just take a look at your note and tell yourself, okay, you know what? I'm gonna decide to just do it anyway. And this is a game changer and when you practice this you will see that this is a game changer so um, yeah so that is the second very important part decide that you're gonna make it work okay then the next thing is drop negativity and um, we just had the holidays and this is maybe something that you also experience you know when you See all your family and relatives and maybe you're surrounded with people who don't understand what you're doing um, who have no idea and who are like ah, that's all crap and whatever hey Fiona so um, I'm sure you you know you had you were surrounded by negative people and um, this also happened to me at Christmas and that's actually why we decided to come home Two days earlier than we planned so um, if you have negative people around you just distance yourself from them so that is one point about um, dropping negativity the other thing is um, become self-aware of how do you think about yourself and how do you talk to yourself because we also sometimes tend to like have this negative self-talk okay for, for example if if we're doing something, if we're trying something and it doesn't work out, then we tell us, ourselves, like, oh gosh, uh, I'm, 
I'm not smart enough or you know I'm just I'm stupid <laughs> um, and, and we keep telling us this and if like if we keep telling us um, one thing over and over and over and over then it becomes a belief and our subconscious mind is really picking up on this and then you know we're believing like we are stupid and we're not smart enough uh, we're not techy so just a sip of water that's why it's so important that um, you become aware of your self-talk, okay? So, um, and also what comes along with this is just, um, how to say this? Um, you know, we also, like, we really, uh, we are afraid of how other people will see us. For example, if, if you are starting, start to do in Facebook Live with your business because you decide you want to go to the next level. You haven't done Facebook Lives before, but now you want to do it. Automatically, the thought will come, oh my gosh, what will my family think about me? What will all my friends who have nothing to do with business think about me if they see me on live video? Um, yeah, these kind of thoughts come up. And um, also, try to find, like, either you, you get into this mindset where you think like, hey, I don't give a shit, sorry for my language, uh, about what other people say or think um, or develop um, a um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for um, like a surrounding an environment that was the word uh, develop an environment for example if you feel more comfortable like creating a business page for yourself hey Jenny um, then go and do a business page okay so and and you know because then when you feel awkward doing Facebook lives on your personal profile where everybody could see it then do it on your business page or do them in your group. If you have a group and you're building a really strong Facebook group, go live in your Facebook group. Um, or you could also create a different Facebook profile and uh, you know, and leave all your family and old friends um, out of that. And uh, and then you know you feel like safe in this new environment. So um, yeah, if you have like ladies, let me know who of you has done Facebook lives before. Drop an emoji if you have done Facebook lives before. Um, because I was just talking about the, how uncomfortable it could make you feel if you think like, oh my gosh, what will everybody else would think about me if I start doing Facebook Lives? So, but when you drop like the negativity and, and distance yourself from negative people and be aware of your negative self-talk, then you can just, you know, switch this and acknowledge this, that you have negative self-talk, but once you... Um, once you're aware of this, then you can start switching it and and start telling yourself different things. Okay, so use um, use different wordings. Don't tell yourself you're stupid or you're not smart enough or you're not techy because you can't figure out something on your computer. So just you know stop this negative self talk. Um, oh, awesome, Jenny. Okay, so the next thing and that is a big one. Um, just not sure what to say. You mean in a Facebook Live or what do you mean, Jenny? Uh, Jennifer? Um, so, um, the next one, and that's a huge one, is impatience. Okay, you need to drop your impatience. And that is like, for me, there are some areas in my personal life where I have all the patience in the world. And then there are other areas and I'm super impatient. <laughs> Um, and one thing was especially also with um, growing my business and making some money with my business because I really had this pressure I needed to make some money um, and uh, you know and when you have the pressure then you tend to make bad decisions that's what happened to me and then everything crushed and I had to start from from scratch and that was actually the best thing that happened to me and um, and over the course of time I realized that I need to be more patient because building a successful business takes time there is no overnight success even though it seems like this we you know because all of a sudden somebody pops up um, online and they ha they have a huge following and they earn six figures or millions <coughs> oh, sorry I have to I have to eat my um gummy bear because my my throat is so scratchy still mm. so but you know, you only see the success, like over this overnight success, but it's not an overnight success. You didn't see all 
the years of development, the years of learning, the years of struggle that this person had. You don't see this. Mm, so, and this is the same for you. Um, don't just be after the money and really be patient, okay? Because impatience is like one of the most reasons why people quit and they quit way too early. Um, because they just can't wait. And um, and also they don't do, hey Deborah, hey Chianti. Um, so everybody who's new to the live stream now, ladies, if you share the video, you're gonna be entered to win a free coaching session with me. And um, so focus, yeah, so, how do, how do you get over the impatience? The first thing is also, again, realizing that you're impatient and that you want like instant success, okay? Um, we're kind of in a like microwave um, generation uh, where we want this instant success, but it's, it's not possible most of the time. So we need to work on our patience. And something that really helps with this is focus on the progress. So don't focus on the end result, focus on the progress so and really go for the progress okay so really go for day by day by day go for the progress and then you make tiny steps towards your big goal and then one day you will realize hey i reached my goal so hey albert um okay so then next the fourth important point that's a huge one as well sorry it's all huge but um and that is being grateful and that is not only for your business, for having a successful business, that is also for having a happy life, okay? Be grateful. And um, and I will also talk about this when we come to the money mindset, how important gratefulness is. Um, so, because the thing with being grateful is when you focus on the things that you have and that you feel grateful for, then they will expand and more gratefulness will come into your life, more abundance will come into your life. Um, because if you focus on the negative things, then you will see more of the negative things. It's like if you, maybe you bought a new car and it's a red car and all of a sudden you see red cars everywhere because your focus is on red cars. Before this, you didn't, you didn't even notice how many red cars there were. So, and the same is with, um, with anything else in your life. Okay. What you focus on expands. So... And if you want more success in your life, acknowledge the small wins that you have, okay? So maybe be grateful for, maybe you made 10 new connections on Facebook today. Be grateful for this. Um, or um, you were building your first capture page, for example. Uh, you could be really proud of that because that is something tacky um, and it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of practice to build a really nice one. And once you did your first one, you could really be grateful for this. So, and no matter how small your win is, be grateful for it because that will expand and, you know, you will just feel so much better and happier. And this will also reflect in your business. Mm. So, and now we're coming to the limiting beliefs. Oh, and by the way, ladies, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I will answer them um, in the end of the training. Okay. So, Squashing limiting beliefs. Um, this is also so important because we grow up as children and you know, we get limiting beliefs like from our parents, from our grandparents, from teachers that tell us, ah, you're too young, you can't do this uh, on your own. Um, you know, things like this. Oh, policeman, and I like the subject that you're talking about. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, so, and a limiting belief actually is anything that you tell yourself that justifies why you can't be doing something. Um, so, I'm not smart enough. I'm not techy enough. Well, I'm not a techy person. That's why I can't create my own capture page. I can't build a sales funnel. I can't do f whatever. Okay. So I just wrote a few down that I um, that I have a few different examples. So uh, another one is. Uh, what will people think of me um, or life isn't fair to me that is also a huge one a lot of people you know when they're struggling then they then they think like oh why can't this be easier or uh, you know or all all the bullshit always happens to me yes if you if you focus on the bullshit you will get more bullshit <laughs> so and if you focus on the good things you will get more good things so um then also about money. Money is the root of all evil. If you believe money is bad, 
why should money come to you? Okay, money is just energy in the form of paper. And, uh, and if you don't feel grateful for your money, why should money come to you? Why should you, why should you earn six figures if you don't respect money? But we, we're going to come to this in a second. Um, oh, money is hard to earn. Oh, it's so hard to build a business. Okay, so I'm sure you get my point. There are a ton of limiting beliefs that we tell ourselves. And um, what you should do with this is also acknowledge them and write them down because everything you wrote down, it kind of gets out of your head and then you really you have it in front of you and you're really aware of it. And then you can also, as I was mentioning before, you can start to switch and you could you can start like kind of rewiring your brain and your subconscious mind and start telling you positive um, things and once you also start telling yourself those over and over and over then they become a belief as well um, I wrote one down um, for example my financial struggles in the past have taught me so much that I'm fully prepared to handle them now okay so <coughs> Now you're not telling yourself anymore, oh, I always struggle with my finances. No, now you're telling yourself that the struggle you had prepared you to handle it much better now. So, okay, I hope you get the idea of um, kind of rewiring your brain and getting rid of the limiting beliefs. And, um, and the other thing with it is that you need to take different action. And, um, and that is also a big one. You need to become like you need to act like the person you want to become and you really need to step in this role um, that you want to become so if you're broke right now don't act like a broke person don't think like a broke person because if you do this you will stay broke forever so you need to step up and you kind of need to trick your brain with that and you really need to start thinking okay how would like in my case okay for how would a five figure or a six figure do the thing how would she act what would she be doing and uh, and that's the same you need to be doing okay so whatever your goal is um think about how would you behave and act and think if you reached your goal already and that's how you have to think behave and act okay so that's actually a really, a really fun exercise as well. Um, but you know, maybe meditate on this a little bit, like be really clear about what's your goal and how would you, how would you be if you achieve your goal already? And then become this person, act like this person, all your marketing, your postings, your posture, you know, how you position yourself, how you message, um, how you, how you bring out your message to the world. Um, so, Hey Monica. So, that is really, really important. Become the person that you want to be. Um, yeah, and also I just wrote this down as a little side note. Um, your first steps towards becoming the person that you want to be. They don't need to be perfect, okay? Also, just focus on the progress. Just focus on becoming better and better and better every single day. So that's where you where you should be focusing on. Don't don't try to be perfect because nobody is perfect, okay? So, but try to become better and better and better. Okay, and now, <coughs> oh, excuse me, oh. so, and now the last part of our training is the money mindset, okay, so, and, um, and about money mindset, I could do a whole training video itself, but I just wanted to kind of include this into um, the money mindset training right now, so, um, one, I just have a few points, okay, how you can develop a really healthy and prosperous, if you could call it like this, prosperous um, money mindset. The first exercise and the first thing that I recommend you do is clear out the crap. So declutter. That starts with your wallet. So really take a look at your wallet. What is inside your wallet? Because we have a whole lot of things there, um, like bills, um, stuff we got from, from on, on the gas station you know when you go to the toilet and you get this little snippet of 50 cent and then you can go in the gas station and buy something from it or something like this and, um, and a lot of other things so really take your wallet and, and and declutter your wallet okay so that's the first thing that you should be doing and then the next thing is also declutter 
um, like your workplace. So if you spend a lot of time at your desk, really take a look at how does your desk look. Okay, so if your desk is a mess, then also your finances are a mess um, because there's no space. You know, that also is it's all like an energetic little thing. It sounds a little bit spiritual and it kind of is, um, but it's so important because also money is energy. Everything is energy. We are energy. And, um, and if your desk is a mess, then there's no room for new energy. So really, you know, clean up your desk, um, declutter, um, and then you will see, first of all, you will feel more organized. And, um, and that is like the foundation for having like a healthy money um, relationship, money mindset, so that money has space to come to you, okay? So that is like the first part. Um, then the next thing is to be positive about money. Okay, so I was mentioning earlier that a lot of people, um, or maybe not a lot of people, but yeah, I would say a lot of people, they think like money is the root of all evil, you know, or yeah, yeah um, only um, people who were born in a rich family, for example, they have the advantage of, of having access to a lot of money or whatever. So, and you need to really think positive about money. Um, and be grateful for it. So I was talking about this earlier as well, because if you focus on that and if you are grateful for money and if you respect money, then you, more money will come to you. And, um, I know it's hard to be grateful if you like open your bank account and you see there's like zero or even minus, um, then it's very hard to say, oh, I'm so grateful for minus $50 on my bank account. <laughs> So I totally get this. Um, what you should be doing then is be grateful for everything that you have, okay? Be grateful for the roof that you have on top of your head. Be grateful for the food you have in your fridge. Be grateful for the clothes you're wearing. So shift your focus on the things that you already have that you could buy and afford from the money that you had, okay? Instead of being negative about the minus $50 on your bank account. So be grateful for the things that you already have, okay? And, uh, and also, if you find money on the streets, and even if it's just a cent, pick it up and be grateful for it. Because then, you know, it shows like you're happy to see money, you respect money, you're grateful for it. Um, and then more money will come to you. So, um, then, hey, if, you have, <laughs> if you have any questions, no matter what it is, business related, um, mindset related, just drop it in the comments and I will be answering it in a little bit. So it's not too long anymore, but um, I just have a few more points on the money mindset. Um, and if you are, you know, if you're enjoying this, if you if you're getting some value from it, show me some love. Let me see the hearts flying here. And also, if you share this video, you will be entered to win a free coaching session with me. Um, okay. So the next thing with money is. Give it a purpose. So if you if you desire to maybe earn a thousand dollars in January, so this month you want to earn a thousand dollars, what do you want to do with this money? What is the purpose for this money? Just that it lies on your bank account? Um, so really think about it and write it down. What do you want to do with a thousand dollars? If it is to pay your rent, write it down. If it is to um, pay off some debt, write this down. If you want to buy a new laptop, so this is one of my, uh, one of my next goals, to buy a new laptop, um, write this down. So really give the money a purpose. So, because then it's, it's also much easier, um, for the money to come in. Okay. Once it has a purpose, then it's not just there because of the sake of being there. So, um, then the next thing is created. That means Think about different ways how you can actively create money. You know, what can you sell? I wanted to think, oh, thank you so much, <laughs> Albert. Um, so what can you do in order to make some money? Um, if you're in a network marketing business and you have products, then you could think about, okay, um, what could I, what could I, what could I sell? You know, if, are there any bundles that I could do? Is there a special offer I could do? Um, is there a challenge that I could do where I could include maybe a product, you know, that they, that I try it, maybe that they get a monthly, um, a monthly trial of a product. Um, or are there other things that you could be doing? You know, maybe you already have like really good information in, in the field that you're in and, um, you could create a, 
maybe also a training video or a training series or you could write your ebook um, and um, and then you could also put this together and maybe just even if you just sell it for five or seven or nine dollars that is a way of making money hey Sandra so um, or if you are a service-based entrepreneur then of course you also have different ways you know you could think about a different package um, you know if you're working one-on-one -on -one, then you could start creating a group course or you could also you know um, create like um, like a digital course or same thing you know the training video an ebook something that you could sell so really think about different ways how you could be making money or if you if you have different income streams as well of course you know if you maybe have a network marketing company then you have a, a you're an affiliate with maybe a, a marketing training tool you're affiliate with maybe your email service provider or whatever and when you talk to people mm, then um, these are also ways you know so because maybe one person would like to um, to buy your product the other person would like to join your business opportunity another one uh, needs some training to build their own um, business so then you can say hey look I have this training tool here you could also um, get a membership um, you know different ways of creating and making money so um, and then so I have three more points on this um, then the next thing is you need to see it before you see it. So same thing with your vision. So and the same is for your money. You need, you need to you, you need to see the money coming in. Okay, so you really need to visualize um, that you have the money. You have the money on your bank account. You have the money in your wallet. You have the money in your hands. And how does it feel to have this money? How does it feel for you to earn a thousand dollars this month? Doesn't that feel good? So really think about and and feel how it is to have this money. <laughs> Sandra is here with baby in her arm that's awesome um, so um, yeah so you need to see it before you actually see it okay really f and feel it feel the emotions how is it earning the money that you desire um, and what really helps also and that you should actually be doing this daily I already I, like I was doing affirmations already but I kind of started it again and I have them kind of everywhere in the house um, some money affirmations okay and I will just give you a few examples so for example uh, I love money and money loves me or um, I'm abundantly wealthy or I'm financially blessed um, or people love to pay me or another one is um, my work is of high service to the world so really write down some really good money affirmations and that help you also you know develop the success mindset and Put them like maybe in the bathroom next to the mirror, um, in the kitchen, you know, at the place where you spend a little bit more time and of course at your workspace. And then really tell yourself these affirmations over and over and over and over again. And so that they will, you know, go into your subconscious mind and they will really change your money mindset. And uh, so, and the last point now is also own your shit <laughs> really <coughs> sorry take responsibility for it okay don't ignore it um i know exactly how it feels so uh when you're broke and you have debt and you don't know how the money is coming in uh, um oh no my son woke up so um so and then it's so easy to just you know put the head in the sand and just ignore it and you're like oh gosh I don't even want to think about how to pay the next bills somehow it's gonna work out um, so but really start um, like also acknowledging it okay face it open all your accounts yeah open your credit card account um, open your bank account uh, and really take a look at okay when is money coming in and when is money going out Tyla now he's coming um so really acknowledge it yeah, come here today. so really acknowledge it because the same thing um with like being grateful is like what you focus on expands and oh, i have it written down because it's, it's really cool actually and it says so what you focus on expands what you track increases and what you're grateful for flourishes okay and um and that's what um what you want to be doing so once you face your money situation 
you will you will see that it feels like you're getting the control back okay you're not ignoring it anymore you're getting the control back so and and that's what you want and once mm -hmm. you have the control then you are in power and then you will really see how everything changes and uh, and how you develop a really good like relationship with your money okay so um yeah so that was um everything i wanted to share with you today about mindset i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some value from it if you did share the video and you will be entered to win a free coaching session with me and also um uh, i'm taking on one-on-one -on -one clients now coaching clients so um, if you are struggling with anything in your business, maybe you are struggling with, yeah, we both have our babies on our arm. <laughs> um, if you're struggling with goal setting or getting clear about what is actually your purpose and what you're passionate about, maybe you're doing a business and you're not really passionate about it. And that is the reason why it's not flourishing. I know this. I've been there. I was doing something and I wasn't passionate about it because I was just doing it for the money. So um, if you need help with this um, or if you need help with your strategy, okay, <coughs> maybe because in the past you were trying a lot of different things and they just didn't work out and you kind of feel lost and you don't know in what direction you should go, um, then I could really help you and I would like to jump on a call with you on a strategy call um, so you can share with me what are you struggling with, where do you want to get, um, what, is, what is your goal for 2018 and, uh, and then we can work out a strategy and I can show you different ways how to get there, okay? So um, I will be, I will be um, leaving the link for um, where you can book a strategy call with me in the comments, it will be pinned, like it will be on top in the comments um, after this video is finished. And then, you know, you can go ahead and um, book a free 30 minute strategy session with me. So if there are no more questions, then I will wrap this up here. Take this small man back to bed. <laughs> and, uh, and I see you tomorrow. So tomorrow we will be talking about how to sell on social media. Okay. So, oh, he wants some water. Okay. So everybody who was here live with me, thank you so much. It was it was so great to have you here and everybody who's watching the replay. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely, uh, what is today? Thursday? Have a lovely Thursday evening and I see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night and bye bye.